Hey everybody, Mark the Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm tying another sea trout pattern for the saw. It's the Baltic Special. Um, it's actually an Irish pattern, despite the name. Um, although I was first shown it by my mate Davy for the Shetlands. Um, very, very effective on its day. Obviously, it's very bright and flashy. It's no necessarily an everyday pattern, but it's well worth still tying some up. And you can keep them basic like this, so you can add eyes and all that if that makes you feel better. Um, but I'm just going to tie the basic pattern. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody that wants to support the channel, get access to the monthly fly tying classes, the members only content, as well as being entered into the giveaways. You can also subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notified of the new videos and come and watch them. Like the video, share the video, leave a comment below or watch all the way to the end. That all helps the channel to go grow. So, got my hook in my vice. This is a size 8 TM Co. and it's a 777SB. Um, these are getting quite hard to get for some reason, um, but the hook choice is not really that important. Any sort of 2x long, um, salt water safe streamer hook will do. You know, anything from Airex or the Partridge series is like the attitudes of the trout streamer, trout predator streamer are all fine. And you can tie them, I don't know, say a 1, don't you, about a 10, and they'll work quite well. Now, I've run on some fluorescent red thread. This is uh, Danville's Flymaster Plus, and it's a 140, a 6 -0. Um, originally this fly, it was, the body was Pearl Lure, Lure Flash, um, which you can't get anymore, they don't make it I don't think, I certainly have not seen it for years. Um, you can use Pearl Tinsel if you want, I'm substituting um, Ice Yarn, Vineyards Ice Yarn, which is a sort of yarn made out of Angelina type fibres to add a bit of durability, I'm not going to rub it or anything, I'm just going to get some varnish, head cement and you can put plenty on, because this will soak into that yarn and it'll also sort of bind um, you know, you're not gluing it down, but what, you're, what you are doing is um, you know, letting it all it soaks up together and it, it sort of creates a cohesive unit, if you like. So, I'm just going to use the rotary to get this up. Um, and don't worry you if uh, you see any of the red showing through, that's totally fine. Um, that's sort of part of the pattern. So when I come up, and I'm going to leave myself a good head length, let's say an eye and a half to two eye lengths. Oh, that good. Shot my working thread. And then what I'll do is I'll just come in, trim that at an angle so I can tidy it up. And you'll see if you use the ice yarn. I mean, you could just use tinsel, as I said, but if you use the ice iron, you'll see there's bits of the pearl sticking out, wee filaments. It's just extra movement and a wee bit of extra light catching ability in the fly. And then the wing was also lure flash. Um, again, use you can use all sorts of substitutes. Glisten glow would be good. Um, flash and slinky, sculpting flash fibre, any of the kind of things is fine. I'm using ripple ice fibre which I found to be quite effective and the first section is going to be it's the mineral mix which is a sort of bluey pearl which is quite nice and in order to make this fly fish a bit better and be less tangle prone 
traditionally it was tied, you know, like, a buck, like an old school bucktail with the, the wing on top. But I'm going to make the fly like twice the length of the hook, right? So in order to make it less likely to foul and tangle on the cast, I'm going to actually sort of tie it in the round. So I'm just going to spread that ripple ice around the shank. And I've tied it sort of, it's maybe 60-40, right? It's, it's no the same length on either end, so I've got a nice taper in the body. And catch it in. See how you're sitting. You can still, you've only got a couple of wraps holding it in each direction. You can still sort of rotate it. And that's no bad at that. And I think this does give you also just a better sort of bait fish like profile. Not just, not just the tangle resistance, it also sort of gives you that the profile you're looking for a bit better, I think. Now, I've got a few that are quite long. I'm going to leave them at the moment. Uh, and I'll trim it all at the end just to get the taper in. The back, I'm using Ripple Ice and this is Smoke Blue. If you want a darker back, you can use a darker blue up to yourself. But this, on the camera, the blueness doesn't show up that well. But um, you see it in the daylight quite a bit better. So again, we come in, I'll set my, this one's obviously going to be tied on top, but I'll set my length so that the back's just coming to, towards the, the end of the body, no necessarily all the way. Two or three wraps, fold it back, and you can just hit it with your thumbnail so it's distributed right across the right across the back of the fly. Like that. And then it's just a matter of uh, building up your head, spin my thread to cord that a wee bit, and then come from the eye, just build up. Then it will no slip and you can build that nice head shape. And make your head a good size. Um, you know, it's, you're using the fluorescent red thread. You're creating that hot spot. It's all part of the pattern, you know, it's no, it doesn't need to vanish away. Whip finish. I've caught a fibre there. Now if you catch a fibre just before you, if you see it anyway, you can free it before you uh, close the knot. And another one. I mean, the first one's good enough, but the second one does no harm. Put that nice and tight. Trim away. And I'm going to give this a couple of coats of varnish, but before I do that, I'll take it out of the vise and I'll just sort of roll it and check the shape. You see it's a bit the back of it's a bit kind of brushy. You know it's no the taper's no great. So I'll take my long scissors and I'll come in. It's quite hard to do it on the vise because the vice is obviously in the way at the back. Come in and just at a shallow angle, cut along. That'll give you the taper and then the same on the top. And any that are really just too long, take them away. And that there is your Baltic Special. It's the, the ripple ice is quite good. It's it reflects light in all the a lot of directions. It's and it's a bit kind of it's a bit rough looking, but once you fish that a couple of times, it starts to sort of follow. Like it starts to hold its shape better. So varnish, as always on the salt water flies, um, your super glue will perish in the salt. So. Good coat of varnish. I'll give it another couple maybe once it's dry. But that's it. As I say, it's a pattern from Ireland. 
I think it was the, developed for the Moy. But um, anywhere you're fishing salt water, when they're feeding in wee herrings or smolts or, you know, any wee sort of bait fish and you want something flashy, this is it. Simple, deadly. So I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up below and I'll see you for another video. Tight lines, guys. Bye.